become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Similar to that, let's go into the pneumatic test. As we have already discussed, pneumatic test is very dangerous and will be recommended if hydro test is not possible or the traces of the water after uh, the testing, if remains in place, that could be dangerous for some operations. So water is not at all allowed in such a vessel or some other liquid uh, if we use that is not recommended because it will get react with the process fluid. And if certain restrictions are there, then only we are going for pneumatic. Otherwise, in normal cases, it is not recommended to go for the pneumatic test because it involves a lot of danger and risk. <clears throat> so, in case of let's say uh, refrigeration plant, so there uh, the water if uh, mixed with ammonia, it can be a very dangerous uh, situation. So they don't want that water traces to be in place. So wherever there is a refrigeration unit, so these are pneumatically tested. So those will not be generally tested with water. And if it has been tested, then it should be thoroughly uh, dried. The care should be properly taken. The dryers must be used and there should not be any traces of the water that should remain in place. So pneumatic testing is preferred when the hydro test is not possible or the traces of the liquid after test can create some problem in the operation. If that is the scenario, then pneumatic test is been preferred. Or there is some geometry for which uh, it does not have the capacity to withhold that water. The amount of water that will be getting involved that cannot be withstand by or its support arrangement is not such that it can withstand that much weight of the water. In case of pneumatic test, the weight of the gas will be nothing, right? So it will be as uh, having the same weight as of the that of the vessel, few um, uh, milligrams or few grams or few kgs will be getting. But in case of your hydro testing, the entire volume will be uh, will be filled with the water and the weight will be used. So if your support system is not capable of the same, if your vessel is not being designed for the same, same uh, in that case, the hydro testing is not being preferred. So to calculate the amount of pressure, for which uh, any equipment to be pneumatically tested that is been given in UG 100B. That is been given in UG 100B and UG 100B endnote 35. So endnote 35, what it is there that we are going to see in detail in upcoming slides. So vacuum test, if there is some external pressure. So what is the procedure to carry out the test? So should we always go for vacuum test? No. In code UG 99B, sub clause F, UG 99 F2 will give us about the vacuum test and F1 will tell us that if there is a full vacuum then you can test the pressure vessel 1.3 times of uh, this vacuum pressure and that should be applied as an internal pressure. So you can if there is an external pressure only in that case you can do the hydro test, uh, hydrostatic test with 1.3 into the uh, external pressure that's it. That is one that is UG 99 f1 and ug 99 f2 if your customer demands that no vacuum test should be uh, considered or that should be done for external pressure in that case ug 99 f2 is the clause according to which we need to perform the vacuum test so please do remember that even if there is a vacuum or, or even if there is external pressure it is not always the vacuum test is uh, suggested now the code also have an alternative ug 99 f1 according to which we can do the hydro testing, uh, hydrostatic test as well. So this will be done for the vessel designed for external vessel and which are not hydro tested. So for which we are not going to hydro test for that vacuum test can be done. UG 99 F2 is the clause according to which we need to do the vacuum testing. So these are the various types of tests uh, that is hydro test, pneumatic test, vacuum test, sometimes some helium leak test is there. So that is not a pressurized test. That is just to check that whether uh, helium is having a very minor or smaller particle size. So uh, water is having larger particle size, H2O molecule is having larger size as compared to the helium. So wherever there is a huge amount of uh, leak tightness is expected in addition to the hydro testing, helium leak test will also be done 
but that will be done at a very low pressure it won't be at 20 30 50 bar it will be done 0.5 or 1 bar so that won't uh, guarantee you about the the uh, hydro testing or pneumatic test that anyway separately we need to do but in addition to that if the customer demands in some applications uh, we can go for helium leak test as well 